AI is in the news a lot. Part of the reason it's in the news is that every week there's a new announcement. And the new announcement says there's this new model. This new model is showing additional capability on general reasoning. Isn't that amazing? And what, you know, the term sheet that comes out attached to every model is like, here's all the public benchmarks and here's how it did on those benchmarks. The implication being that these models are going to be automatically used now in the real world to do right. stuff. You know, one of the questions you might ask yourself is like, well, who's doing that work? Who's implementing it? Who's actually taking the capability and then running all the experiments that then use that capability on something that really matters, right? Oh, we're going to take this, these models, we're going to mix them with satellites, and we're going to try to see if we can detect wildfire within minutes of it starting. Or are there ways you could actually build extensions of these tools that could actually allow hundreds of mathematicians to work together on a problem? Those are not necessarily commercial ideas, right? Because it's not like the world has millions of mathematicians, but from a public and social goods, if you can make working mathematicians more productive and they could solve the underlying theorems that then power the internet, it could be a big deal.